What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope y'all are doing fantastic. Now I want to bring more value to this channel and that's going to be with me basically sharing some of the knowledge that I have learned over the past couple of years, whether it be photography or video and sharing it with you guys. Now today we are going to talk about masking transitions. See what I did there? Mask transitions. No. Roll the intro. All right, guys. So here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. Now, you don't necessarily need Premiere Pro to do this. You can also do this in Adobe After Effects. It is basically the same process as in Adobe Premiere. Now, um, you're going to need two things when doing a mask transition. You're going to need two clips that are going in the same direction and you're going to need something that fills the frame so i've got this clip here both these clips are going in the same direction and this first clip here i've kind of panning in and panning to the left and i've got skylar's whole torso basically filling the frame here so what we're going to do is we're going to mask anything past his back here we're going to say the edge of his back is right here and anything past his back is going to be this next frame here. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the clip that we want masked. We are going to move. We're going to move into where I would say right about here, because the first thing you're going to want to do is um, add a keyframe uh, for your mask, but you don't want the mask to, to show up throughout the whole frame. You want it to be off. You want it to be off frame and then you want it to come in frame. So to start masking, you're gonna either use the circle tool, the square tool. Now, if you're, you're doing something round or you're doing something square, it would make more sense to use one of these or you're doing something more precise. Like if I wanted to basically outline his whole back, uh, the pen tool would honestly be the best. But for the sake of today's video, we are just going to use this square here because I don't want this video to be uh, too, too long. So we're going to start with the mask because there's no edge of his back yet. You don't see the edge of his back yet. So we're going to have the mask off screen. We're going to hit the stopwatch to make a keyframe. And then we are going to move ahead one frame. And we are going to take our mask and we're going to move it over. Now you're like, well, what the heck? This is, that doesn't make, that is, something's not right. Well, it, it automatically inverts. So you're going to want to click on this inverted here. It'll flip it around. <clears throat> now, as you can see, no mask, mask. So the mask just shows up at this next keyframe here. So uh, you guessed it. Now you're just gonna tediously go through each frame, move your mask. Again, this is not perfect. This is just a rough to show you guys exactly how masking is done just keep moving the mask each frame like so and it'll automatically add in all of these keyframes here every time you move it but that's basically it guys and uh, when it's all said and done and you tediously put in all the keyframes here and uh, keyframed it all the way across your frame here, you guys should have something like this. Hold up, face go up when I pull up. They all on me like I want some. Think I got what you need, well I have none. Hop off, you're a freaking unhandsome. Slide up in the club like two chains. This snake is on top of the full chain. All right, guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of today's video. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. And guys, I promise that there will be more exciting content in the future photo shoots and outdoorsy stuff right now is kind of at a halt because of covid but guys bear with me and as of always stay awesome and we will see you guys in the next one Boo.